Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Baker. Welcome to the Fighting Illini Basketball Preview Show for the 2018-19 season. Under construction, that's pretty much the theme of the men's and women's basketball programs. Coming up on the show, we'll have conversations with head coaches Brad Underwood and Nancy Fay, and athletic director Josh Whitman will join me to talk about the renovation plans for the Oven Basketball Complex. But it's ladies first. After the break, I'll go one-on-one -on -one with Coach Fay. I am here with Fighting Illini women's head basketball coach Nancy Fay. Coach Fay, thanks for being with us. And here we are, year two of your time in Champaign. Uh, how much more settled do you feel coming into your second season running Illinois women's basketball? Well, that was an exciting first year. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, everybody's more familiar. The kids are more familiar with me. I am with them. Um, you know, developing a culture is a lot what we did last year. Um, getting to know each other, what the expectations were. Now, uh, everything in the gym, you know, they've heard. They understand what I'm talking about. So we're moving at a, a whole different pace. And even for you, you had to gain some familiarity with this university, this program, uh, the Big Ten, all of that. You know, how much of a learning curve was that for you? Well, sure. I mean, I'd been at a place where, you know, I, I'd been pretty comfortable in, you know, knowing what the ropes were. I'd say as a Hall of Famer, you were pretty comfortable. Well, yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> I'd say. It was, but the excitement of getting to know new people, getting to know the Big Ten and competing at this level, um, it was a challenging year, but at the same time, that's why I'm here. I, I knew that we had um, to get better, and I, I appreciate that challenge. For you, the real excitement and fun comes with winning, uh, and you're in that process of building that. Uh, Tell us about the progress your team has made from the end of last season uh, through training camp approaching this 2018-19 season. I think it's developing an identity. I think when last year what we were trying to, what we were doing, as I said, was culture. Now you're developing it, whether it's an offensive identity, a defensive identity, who are we mm -hmm. on the court? Um, but that's also off the court. It all, it's all those places that you have to start building. And, and that's where we're at right now. I think that they understand you know, what we want to do offensively, who do we want to be. Defensively, we have you know things that... Uh, um, perhaps last year we were just trying to get the basics of how defending an on-ball screen, what were we doing? Now we can add the identity of what that hole looks like in a big picture. So defensively, is the focus to pressure the basketball? Is that what you want to do? Yeah, I think you have to play to the style of your team and the strength of your team. Right now, you know, some of the things that we didn't do so well is defending the three-point line mm -hmm. and, honestly, direct line drives. So we've kind of looked at what worked best for us. Extending ourselves right now, you know, I think we obviously every team could do it. Um, but right now, I really want to be a really great half-court defensive team. When I peeked in on your practice, one thing that was obvious is the intensity level that you've raised, but that's what you bring to the practice court each and every day. But I could see it starting to translate to the players. They understand your message now. Right. Well, you know, it's the locker room. Out here, mm -hmm. we can do things, but when it starts happening in the locker room, I mean, the day before we started practice, the captains came up and said, hey, we'd like to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. Now, usually when you hear that, you're like, is something wrong? It was just the opposite. They wanted to go in, get to know each other better. They knew the intensity was going to you know, take another level up. And they wanted to talk about you know, what they appreciate about each other, how they want to talk to each other on the court when things you know, in, in competition. That's a really good sign that your locker room is starting to come on the court. And so. that had to bring a smile to your face because any coach knows, as you said, you can coach on the court, but until the players take ownership of the team, then you really can't take off, right? Correct. I mean, and I think the captains are embracing that. Um, but the whole team, you know, you got, you know, we got four or five new players on this team um, with an excitement. Um, people came here to win. I mean, I, and I came here to win, doing it the right way, building it the right way. Um, and you can start feeling that, that changeover. Offensively, you return your leading scorer in Alex Winninger. But talk about uh, some of your other key players and what they're bringing to the table this year. Well, you know, I think that the thing like Brandy Beasley, our point guard, you know, I'm an old point guard. We're getting mm -hmm. to know each other, what that tempo means, how we want to She's your coach on the floor. Right. And I think that, you know, you can't rush that sometimes. And so that, that part of it, I think the structure of the team, um, you know, with Allie Andrews back, uh, we have, you know, several kids, plus we have new kids coming mm -hmm. in. 
And you know, I, I keep trying to go, if I mention all the names, because this is a team. And what we're trying to do is, yeah, people really doubled, did a lot of things to, to scheme against Alex. We don't want to be that team anymore. We want to put touches on the ball and know, hey, there's more than one weapon out there. Well, Coach, we know all the best is yet to come this season. We look forward to following Illinois women's basketball. When we come back on our Fighting Illini basketball preview show, we'll bounce to the other side and go one-on-one -on -one with head basketball coach Brad Underwood. Coach Brad Underwood, always good to see you. Great to it's, see you, It's uh, in the midst of work, getting ready for another season. Um, I talked to Coach Faye about this earlier. Uh, how much more comfortable do you feel as a coach uh, with your plan in place for this program entering year two? It's night and day. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a tendency in year one, you kind of feel like you're on that treadmill, <laughs> just, just, just you're, running. You're not going anywhere. And uh, now you feel like you've gained traction. There's veterans in the program. Uh, there's an understanding of how things are going to be both on and off the court. And, um, and that's comforting. And even though we have a lot of new guys, we have a base and, that, and we have a foundation and that's established. So uh, we've gained traction. We, we know we're on the uphill mm -hmm. ascent to the top and uh, that's comforting. It's a very different looking team. You do have guys like Trent Frazier back. You have Aaron Jordan, your, your senior leader in the locker room and some other players who were here last year, you know, Kipper Nichols. But you mentioned the new faces between freshmen and some older players who've transferred in, be it from JUCO or another university. What is the difference you've seen on the floor and in the locker room with your players understanding what you expect? Yeah, the one thing, Bake, is we don't have to teach competitiveness. Mm -hmm. This is a group that's won. Uh, they've won at every level they've been at and, and, and done it at, at a high level. So they compete. Uh, we're, we're not having to coach winning. We're not having to coach effort. Uh, we can coach basketball and X's, X's and O's. And this group's IQ is very high. I've been really pleased with that. And your system requires a certain type of player. It's, it's no not doubt. for everybody. No doubt, no yeah. doubt. We recruit to our system. Mm -hmm. And we're always going to be a guard heavy team. We believe in, and you win with great guards. Everyday guys. Uh, everyday guys, <laughs> and uh, this, and then we've got an ability to, to to pass, dribble, and shoot. I think one of the strongest attributes of this team is we're a very, very good passing team. Defensively, you require a lot of your guards and your, your whole team. I mean, it's a, it's an aggressive style. But I noticed at practice you have officials in here, and tell me how that's helping with your players understanding the level of aggression they need to play defensive with, defense with, but also not foul. Bake, I was horrible last year. I did a very poor job of getting our guys to understand playing aggressive and then um, not fouling and being smart. And uh, so we've made a conscious effort from day one. We've had officials in every practice. It's not coaches blowing the whistle. Uh, we miss so many things when we're actually coaching that we don't call fouls. And we did that last year. And that became very evident in the game. Uh, this year, it's to help our guys recognize what's a foul and uh, what's not, make them, make them very conscious of it, and, and hopefully it's something that we're better at. Well, to give you an idea of just how intense practices are with Coach Underwood, we put a mic on him and take a listen at this mic'd up segment with Coach Brad Underwood. Down here, down here, down here, down here. Let's go, give me orange. And... That's like that's the way it's supposed to be. I'm drawing. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stack up the aisle. Great, 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 great. One ten. My gosh. That's a veteran. That's a veteran who knows her stuff. Make sure you live with Paul. Good treatment. I, 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 trust me. As you can ask. Give him close. Turn. Play out of it. Don't throw the lob. Got tomorrow off, so you need to make some. Are there twice a day? This play happens with tempo and with pace, and it happens quickly. You guys have to move. Understand? Okay, run it from half. Go, go, go. Yeah, I drew. Yeah, I turned your nine contacts up. So, like, third time. Down there. As the ball's in the air, Trent's reading this. He is off this, off this screen 100 miles an hour. Four.
There's nothing the defense can do that's right in this offense. If they pressure you, the high post should be open. If the high post isn't open, just be poised and patient and run dribble entry. Got him, got him. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh yes, oh yes, good stuff. Go. Move, move. We're dropping. We'll attack you. We're done. We're done. Right here. All right, got a day off. Now we start. We start getting ready. We'll st start getting within that week of playing an opponent, and mindset's got to change. Rebounding's got to change. Effort's got to be maximized. You cannot let the dog days of practice hinder you and get away from you. The great teams go every day. Figure out what you're going to be. The regular dudes just get a workout a day in. The great ones figure out how to be great. They do things differently. Come on. I do. Tough. Uh, Got on three, toughness on six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome back to our final Illini basketball preview show here with head coach Brad Underwood. And one thing that is very obvious when I looked at your team uh, from the end of last season through the summer and the start of this year is just how bigger they look. And I mean, these guys are cut. Cut. They've been in the gym getting it done. And Adam Fletcher, what a job this guy does for you with the strength and conditioning. Yeah, he's the best in the country. And uh, he's the ultimate professional. He's uh, uh, very intelligent. He's very committed. He's a former player. So he understands the basketball side of things. And, and it's not just going in and lifting weights. It's, it's the flexibility. It's the, uh, the taking care of yourself after practice. Uh, it's, it's the constant rehab and working with Paul Schmidt, our trainer. Uh, our nutritionists, the fuel that they put in their body. So he oversees all of that. And uh, uh, the changes he makes in an eight-week summer session with guys is astounding, and, and he's literally the best. Well, let's take a look at how Fletch is helping the final line. I flex their muscles in the weight room and on the court. I'm sure I speak for everybody else in this uh, facility. Uh, I think you know, we got the best in the country uh, and, and Coach Fletch. The weight room this past summer, uh, probably one of the best workout summers I've ever had. Words can't really explain it until you actually experience it with him in the weight room. Yeah, this year we took a different approach, understanding Coach's offense a little bit better than, than what I did going into last year. And we knew that playing fast and, and, and having that type of conditioning that it takes to do that you know, time and time again was really important. So we did take a, a, a more of an approach with um, our conditioning. Uh, we spent more time getting guys uh, the aerobic capacity that we felt comfortable with to, to be able to get them to a spot where they could repeat sprint ability. Um, so we spent we spent a lot of time focused on you know how fast we want to play and how we're going to get there. We've added in uh, the force plate technology this year. It, it gives us the ability to really dive into how each guy jumps. It gives us the ability to dive in um, and get really specific with where a guy's issue is in his jump to help him become a better jumper. The guys that have been with me and, and have stayed with me through summer schools and, and uh, the, the, the year-round training that we do, you know, the, it takes its own form. And, and they're almost their own coach at that point because they have spent so much time and they understand why we do what we do. It gives them the ability to kind of drive their own program a little bit. And that's one of the things that we take pride in is the players taking their own program in their own hands and creating it, making it their own is really important because if it's their program, they want to be better at it than if it's my program. It's, he did an unbelievable job this summer, um, increasing my vertical, my, my strength. Last year around this time, I, I get bumped around, thrown on the ground, you know. I could have finished through contact over big guys, but now I'm dunking at the rim, finishing strong over guys, but um, you know, and I think that, that's going to really help me this season. You know, Trent, he's, he's, since I've been here, he's got the, the, the highest recorded vertical that we've got at 42 inches um, on his approach. And, you know, it's an area that we, that we kind of locked in because his ability to finish around the rim, we knew that we had to get him up, up a little bit higher to finish over some of the guys that, that he's going to be going against in the league. For me, the fun part is seeing the kids celebrate it. We, we've added Kayla uh, in the offseason, and, 
Um, she's really taken control of it. I used to spend a lot of time and energy on that, and um, it's been really good to, to have Kayla here, and, and our guys certainly respect her and, and her passion for nutrition. And, and uh, I think it's probably the biggest change that we've had uh, in the off season is, is with her and how much time and energy she's put into the, the, the educational piece uh, as, as well as the follow through. You know, Coach Underwood's unbelievable to work for. I, I can't you know, say that enough. And um, his support for what I do is really important. Uh, he, puts, you know, he puts a lot of trust in, in, in what I do and um, understands the value of what we do. And uh, you know, working for a guy like that, it makes, it makes work really easy. Um, but then, you know, it, it also gives us a platform to be able to push our guys um, to, to the level that we're at now and, and we'll continue to push. Well, Coach, I know how important facilities are to you and I know there's some plans in place to make Oven bigger and better. When we come back, we're going to talk to your boss about that, Josh Whitman, our athletic director. Yeah, we're excited. Josh has been fantastic at uh, helping everybody understand that uh, uh, it, it, it's updating, it's great for our, for our, our student athletes, uh, and, and this will be an incredible enhancement for our, our program. We're back with the AD Josh Whitman right after this. Josh, it's hard to believe 20 years ago this was a brand new facility, the Oven Basketball Complex was considered state of the art. Not really the case right now, and I know you have a vision to expand this not only uh, for better facilities for the, the, the players, men and women, but the, the whole experience for the student athlete here at the University of Illinois. That's an important thing for us as we have worked to, to address the needs of a number of our different programs. We've started with our students first, and you've seen us take that approach with the Smith Football Center, which is now underway across the street. You've seen it. We just broke ground on the Demersion Park soccer and track and field facility on, on Friday. It hadn't been that long since we moved back into State Farm. That's <laughs> well, right. It was all renovated. And, and we just put, of course, $170 million in the State mm -hmm. Farm Center, which I think makes it one of the great college basketball venues in the country. And, and now there's an opportunity for us to, to take some of that same attention and, and, and give it here to the Oven Complex, which has been a tremendous home, as you mentioned, for now over two decades for our basketball program. But uh, we've got a lot of, of opportunity here to continue to expand it, to, to renovate it, to, to give it a, a new life uh, here for the next 20 years that uh, I think allows us to take advantage of some of the new technology, the new expectations in terms of uh, that student athlete experience. And so we're excited about that project and uh, anxious to get out and, and get the dollars in the door to help make it happen. A work in progress really applies to both of these programs. Uh, with new coaches who had to lay their foundation of how uh, they would like to build the programs and, and, and not just for a quick hit. I know fans want to win now, but for sustained success, uh, how do you assess where things are with both Coach Underwood and Coach Fay? I think you said it exactly right. We've shown that we can get to the top of the mountain. We've been to the Final Fours. We've been to the National Championship team. We've been to the Rose Bowls. If you're talking about football, and for us, it's about putting a plan in place that allows us to build a solid foundation that gives us the, the chance to have sustained success, mm -hmm. to be at the top and to be there for a long period of time. And so I, I give both Coach Fay and Coach Underwood great credit. I think they've started to, to put the groundwork in place that will allow us to have those programs where we want them to be for a long period of time. Now that requires us to be a little more patient, sometimes on the front end, sure. uh, which is hard for all of us. And we all want to win every game as soon as uh, we walk into that gym, but we recognize that uh, this is gonna take some time, that we've got uh, the right people doing the right things to make it happen and, and uh, we're excited about what that future looks like. Well, when you talk about construction, one thing is clear with, with both of these head coaches, they're hard hat coaches. They come in and get their hands dirty and get the job done. You have to like that as a former athlete yourself to have coaches who really get invested and are hands on with building their programs. I, I do. I, I think we've talked a lot about the, the Illinois identity and I think having that approach, that, that hard hat approach that you mentioned, that blue collar work ethic, that toughness, uh, that competitiveness, that drive, those are things that, that completely define who we are as Fighting Illini. And so to see Coach Underwood, Coach Fay bring that approach to what they do every single day in the gym with our student athletes on the recruiting trail gives me a lot of confidence about the direction we're headed and a uh, great confidence about the fit for them at, at this university. And Coach, we can see the walls starting to go up. Looking forward to another great season of Illinois basketball. We are too, man. Uh, thanks, thanks for so. everything. Uh, absolutely. It won't be long before the Illini men and women start building upon the foundation they've laid on the hardwood 
with the season right around the corner at the State Farm Center. Thanks for watching our Fighting Illini basketball preview show. I'm Ryan Baker. Go Illini!